Okay, moving on to um, what has been described as a daffodil or an open-faced flower. Pretty much the same thing, I guess. So this seems to work better if you use a really wide ribbon. It's probably a little too wide, but it'll work. So you bring your stitch through and then tuck over and use a pin just to hang on to the top of the petal and then stitch down and as you go down try and pull in this under edge here that edge slightly more than the top edge that and then kind of tuck in the excess slightly like that creates a really open flower or open petal continue on with the next one now this is a problematic one and quite a difficult one to get the balance right because you're working with a lot of volume and trying to create the shape that you want that looks realistic which is actually quite difficult in this case <laughs> oh don't stitch through that don't stitch do the rest of the ribbon as you come as you support it Try and find a clean spot or at least move the excess out of the way if you can. And again, don't stitch through your ribbon. So, again, I'm pulling as much of the other side of the thread out as possible. And then tuck the excess underneath to kind of puff up the petal slightly and make it slightly wider, like that. And then like with the gathered one, you want to come in quite a ways, not that much, about half the distance, so gathering about half the length in couple of stitches just to hold that in place. Just kind of finesse your gather slightly so it doesn't look too messy. And starting from this end, you start stitching in the centre here. Hopefully not catch anything else in the process. going to start stitching and gradually go wider and wider until I'm actually stitching through the base of the petals as I go around. And this one looks a mess until it's settled in perfectly. You can just do a very short one and have a very short trumpet, depending on what kind of flower you're trying to do. So again, this is traditionally a um, daffodil. Come on. So I'm just coming 